and we are back with Bora Adventures. I am your host, Miracle Gaming, and this is Frederick, and this is Chapter 4. Fittingly, our disastrous internal strife was due to debate over whether the recently departed White Coats actually existed. White Coats, huh? Though much evidence remains of their presence, the still living metal chambers, the reflecting pools, the glowing misses. The story of our race, as told by our shamans, quickly abandoned any mention of the white clothes. Their role in the genesis of our race, just as it was, was replaced with a mysterious dark sun that lived deep underground and spun us from the void aeons ago. According to the shamans, the relics of the Tall One's civilization were, in fact, relics of ours from a lost age of a taller, more graceful Borkin. Time. These relics, we were told, were our birthright just waiting to be recovered. At the time, we chroniclers dismissed it as arrogant yet compelling boar centric rhetoric. It was more than that. The entire false history of the shamans was not the product of any boar mind. So we can probably make a few deductions here. Basically, first, the white coats are definitely the humans. Hey, Hildy just moved. And. It's quite also easy to see that the shamans um, were using the dark sun of whatever, or whatever it was to their nefarious purpose of... Oh, hey! Wow! Who thought I'd see you again? I've been searching everywhere for the others. You're the first I found! Dean sent me to find Varaha, but that boy is a loon. I had a hard enough time waking him up, and then all he did was spout garbage about his dreams. His whole temple seems like a waste of time. I'm going to the scrapyard and see if I can dig up Maidasan. He knew what to do. Alright, see ya then. And yeah, basically the white coats are definitely the scientists that have been leaving those logs all around. And the shamans, I guessing are the boars with the masks that would explain a lot and there are also the chroniclers which I guess are the people who wrote the things oh well hello there I don't think there's any other way to get down but through that seat of power huh well all right then Yeah. Well, he didn't have a choice. Oh, hey, boar. I was just having some far out dreams. There was, like, some tentacles or something reaching up from deep underground. Some heavy stuff. So that's where GB has you chasing after some gems. I don't know what to tell you, boar. Actually, Boar, my buddies down in the library have been chasing up strange folk lately. Maybe they took GB's gem. There's also the people of Moltown. They should know where you can scrounge up more gems. Oh yeah, you can get back to the surface and on your way to Moltown through a door behind me. If you want to talk to the librarians, just turn around and go through the first door you see. Then you go... Uh, well, you can, like, figure it out, boar. Alright, so... We can go back to the surface with the door. There. This leads to... I don't know. Let's go take a look. So, this is transition. Also... New type of blocks falls when you do this and then they are one use. They will come... Wait, something's wrong here. Hmm, must be my imagination. But yeah, you can go to the scrapyard through here. And this music is awesome, but we're not gonna hear it very much for now. But yeah, the, this block I was talking about. There's still a door. Hmm. 
Ah, it's up there. But yeah, this door I was talking about. Um, these blocks. Well, you know what? Let, let's just show. Like you're gonna see those blocks a lot more later on. Especially in the scrapyard, they break after you pass over them, so they are effectively one use. Or I think two uses, uh, well, if you don't make them fall. Something like that. Hey, another one of those. Alright, let's do it then. This one is easy. Yeah, there we go. Laid to rest. Tons of spore skeletons all around. So yeah, uh, these blocks are going to be a very important part of the puzzles in the scrapyard. Yeah, they are one use. Okay, and you can make them fall as well. Uh, that's all. Before we go to the scrapyard though, let's go have a look over here and see what we can find. Let's. What's down here? There's a door. Okay. Um, but before we go there, let's. Oh, look at the background there. It's pretty. It's pretty pixelated too. Ah, man, so much to explore. Oh, wait, there's a book here. This agreement between chroniclers and shamans became hateful to the point of violence. The shamans grew bold. They frequently headed to the surface, captured tall ones, and subjected them unspoken atrocities in an effort to appease the Dark Sun. The chroniclers, on the other hand, grew meek. We retreated to a place entrusted to us by the White Cloaks, an expensive underground ocean where we made a home for ourselves. We also, in a fantastic irony, found the so-called Dark Sun. Ah, so they found it. Okay. Also, they keep mentioning the Tall one. Oh, hey. They keep mentioning the Tall Ones. Um, if you remember that weird creature down there, oh, the map. And when you access the map from here, it doesn't lead to anywhere. And four more of those, huh? But yeah, I'm thinking the tall ones are that creature, that weird creature we saw in the dream, something like that. So yeah, and I think the rest is just a way to get back up. So. All we gotta do now is access through that door and see what lies beyond. The backyard. Alright then. There are some puzzles here, I suppose. Yeah, quite a bit of them actually. Quite a bit of them. Let's go up here. First, and hey, there's a door. And this is expectations. I'll be honest. The following puzzles are going to be freaking hard. Um, the at, at least the puzzles that involve these moving blocks. If I recall correctly, it is really hard. And I have to push it a bit more, and then I can push that one as well. And for now, it's not that hard because we're basically just learning how to use these blocks. But later on, they become a real pain. Um, let's go up here first. Like this puzzle. This puzzle is a real pain. I have to make a way to get well, a staircase, really, but the blocks can only go down. You can only take them downwards. And they also stack up like this. So if you want to actually make use of them, you're going to have to push one over there like that, and then push one over there, and then, yeah, something like that. Because otherwise they, they just stack. Um, let's see. Man, I don't want to push that block there yet. Hmm.
Something tells me I want to go up there. Now the question is how? Because I, can, I could push that block one more over. And I could do this. Push that one, one over and then that one, one over. And then I can be a bit clever here and do this and do that. There we go. Huh. We have found three old maps with the city with city mark there here, but so far all we've managed to find is a lot of water. Sure, there is the odd room still standing, but the entire place is underwater. For now we are going to head back and see if we can get some engineering support from the four men. Maybe those two can figure out some way to drain this place. Between Mr. D's brawn and Mr. V's brains, I figure this place will be dry as a bone. I sure hope this place is worth the effort. Legend says it is filled with gems, but the air around it makes me feel a bit mite funny. It gives me a niche between the shoulders. Hmm. And what's up here? Ah, that's a door. Let's... Ah, ah, ah. Torn between using the door or finishing the puzzle. Let's use the door. The puzzle to get the gem is easier anyway. So here we have a family united. Oh, this puzzle. Ugh, this puzzle is horrible. I will tell you right now, this is one of the worst puzzles I have done in the game. It is... Oh yeah, I can't do that right now. It is so hard. Oh my god. Okay, let's do it. Let's try to do it. Uh, we might spend the rest of the video here and... I would have absolutely no control over that. Let's see. I basically need to make a bridge here. That's what I gotta do. And... I can get from one side to the other. That's not an issue. So here I think I have to push that block there. Oh. And then I can access the other side. Um, let's see. I forgot if I have to... Because... 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 Um, I'm trying to think here and I'm like confusing my languages even. Uh, I have to bring two kid blocks over. But I forgot if I have to bring the mom block on the... Oh yeah, I, remember, I, I can see now. The mom block goes on the bottom and the kid blocks go over. So, basically, I gotta do this. Support this for a moment here while I think. I think actually can go down. And... Okay, I gotta do this. And then down and down. And then I'm pushing that over. And there we go. Okay. Then I can push one of the kit blocks here. Because the thing is, I think I don't have any access to up here once I... Well, I will have access to up here through the right side there, but I think this is how we're meant to do it. Okay. This will bring the kit block down. This will allow me to push that block over which is the first part of the next thing and then I can um, let's see um, actually this is not the solution I believe or is it I 
I have to somehow make that block fall while still being able to push it over. That's the issue here. <sighs> Let's see. Mm, I'm thinking, so I'm not be I'm not gonna be super talkative. could go push the other block because once you break the red blocks well they're broken you can't get them back so now this side is ready but it doesn't help that I'm stuck here I think because I gotta move that block then I gotta do something here because I do have to have access to lowering this block here and that's my current issue here if I just push it and keep going then I'm just screwed yeah that's the issue with this stupid puzzle here uh, what if I go back a bit more? Yeah, like here. Let's see. This is really a tough one. Um, I think I get it. Okay, I gotta make that fall. Then I can push. Is that even gonna work? Hmm. If I push this block there and keep going here, like this, then I go one more block. Okay, I think I can salvage this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is move that block one over. And I don't need to break the red blocks at all. I think that's the red herring here, so I'm gonna do this. Move that over there. Then I'll go back down here. Now I don't really have a choice. Okay, I'm gonna have... Ah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Um, now I'm stuck, I think. No, wait, I'm not. Am I? I think I am, but I'm not sure. Is there a way for me to salvage this? Because my only sol my only problem here is bringing that over. As if I fall, if I make this fall, then it would ha all have been for naught. Because I gotta break that. I can reactivate the blue block, so I can still make the passage to go on the left. But is that gonna be useful for anything? That's what I'm thinking. I don't think it's gonna be. I just gotta make sure that fall. I I'm so close to getting it here. I just need to think about it a little bit more. I don't really wanna make the episode too long though, so... As long as this is taken, I think I'm gonna call it here and finish it in the next video. So, yeah, I will see you later. Bye.